In the 30 years that I have been encountering dolphins in the wild, perhaps the most remarkable dolphin is a young adult spotted Atlantic dolphin in the Bahamas. She has been nicknamed Scratchy. It is rare for dolphins in the wild to approach and interact with people. It is even more rare for one of these dolphins to seek out people to be touched by them. Here she is mischievously blowing bubbles underneath the belly of another dolphin. Scratchy definitely chooses people that she wishes to have touch her. She will stop swimming, roll over on her back and present her belly, leaning backwards expecting to have her belly, chest and chin rubbed. After a while she will turn over to have her back scratched. I am one of the lucky ones she chooses. Not only does it obviously feel good, it may also serve a purpose for ridding her of parasites. The other dolphins observe her behaviour with as much amazement as we do, but they choose to engage us in exhausting games of play or gliding relaxed next to us in a state of mutual meditation.
Dolphins are very tactile with each other. This is believed to be a form of bonding and even communication, particularly between friends and family members. Incredibly, Scratchy had recognized me within seconds of my jumping into the ocean, even though I hadn't seen her for two years. Within 10 seconds, she was behind me tapping me on the shoulder and going into her usual games. She would swim from one of her chosen masseurs to another. However, if I showed too much interest in any other dolphin, she would swim up behind me and nudge my hand until I focused back on her. It soon became obvious that Scratchy wanted to move things to another level. Instead of just receiving from hands, she decided hands and arms were very interesting and she wanted to do something more with them. She also started giving me full body rubs. The culmination of this was she actually started towing the dive master or myself through the water by our hands or arms. Not as a captive dolphin forced to perform tricks to receive food but as a wild dolphin in the vast ocean, developing her own ways of connecting with us. Dolphins have lots of sharp teeth and powerful jaws, so it was unnerving to say the least to have a dolphin place her mouth around an arm or hand, especially when you consider how roughly dolphins play together. Amazingly, she was so gentle there was no mark nor discomfort. She seemed very pleased with herself. While I was astonished. Instead of looking up at the stars, perhaps we merely need to look down beneath the waves to find intelligent life. <laughs>